I'd like to tell you all a story out of the ultimate history book, Earth. Only the pages from which it's read are volcanic rocks deposited a million or so years ago. That's where I, as a geologist, become useful because geology is not just about studying the Earth, its rocks, or how they change, but it's also about communicating those incredible tales. And to be able to look back in time and understand Earth history is to understand our own history. So what's so special about these volcanic rocks I study? Well, they're erupted in a specific type of environment with lots of water present, an ancient lake. And when 1,200 degrees Celsius lava comes into contact with water, boom, explosive hydrovolcanic eruptions. Now, because there was so much water present, the lava cooled instantaneously. And as a result, there wasn't really much time for minerals to form. So instead, glass formed. So these rocks are composed of billions of shards of natural volcanic glass. And this is important to the story because what we find inside the glass is evidence of life in the form of microscopic trace fossils. Well, what's a trace fossil? A uh, trace fossil is evidence of an organism's behavior. A fossilized footprint, for example, would be a trace fossil. Only these take the form of microscopic tunnels believed to be produced by the action of microorganisms, such as bacteria eating their way through the glass. We call these endolithic microborings, and they're only about one one-thousandth of a millimeter wide, a mere fraction of a human hair. How do you see something so small? Well, you gotta take a slice of rock, kinda like you'd slice a loaf of bread, only the loaf is a volcanic rock and the slice is 30 one-thousandths of a millimeter wide. It's so thin, in fact, you can shine light right through it. And this is what allows us to see minute details inside the rock under the microscope. So why is this significant? Well, these features have not been described in volcanic rocks erupted in this specific type of environment before. So the fossil record has, in fact, expanded a little bit. Moreover, I'm sure many of you have wondered at some point, do aliens exist? Well, it is possible that if we're to find evidence of extraterrestrial life on another planet such as Mars, for example, a planet with similar volcanic rock types, of similar chemical composition, and even evidence of ancient lakes. Well, that evidence of life might just be in the form of microscopic trace fossils, just like we see here. So next time you see a rock, remember, it's not just a rock. It's history. Thank you.